this video we're going to hook up a Fataba standard receiver to the MicroBeast. Now this uh, next graphic is from the MicroBeast manual and I thought it had quite a bit of extra information on it that we really didn't need so I simplified it. And you can pause and look at this but uh, it makes it a lot simpler. This unit can be divided into two halves. The top half it's basically everything on the top half comes in from the receiver and everything on the bottom half goes out to the servos. We're going to use the wire that come with the MicroBeast. You got that one wire that's got three signal leads, the elevator and aileron wires. Go ahead and hook them up as shown here. Uh, but the main concern is the channel assignments which you can find in your manual or on your radio in the function list. Most of the Fataba radios have got this. Now if you have a 12Z don't forget we changed channel uh, 3 to throttle and channel 6 to pitch. You don't have to do that if you're using a standard receiver but you gotta jockey the wires around a little bit. Once you get your channel assignments figured out, go ahead and hook up the aileron elevator and then your three wires. The orange goes to the rudder, the brown goes to channel 5 or the gyro, and the red goes to pitch. Now let's hook up the servos. So this diagram is from the MicroBeast manual. Uh, it represents a swash plate from above and the nose or tail it doesn't make any difference and you hook your pitch servo up on one side your aileron servo up on one side and the elevator servo either the front or the back and then the rudder servo goes to the rudder servo next up is steps E and F